someone on the Notion team is pushing updates like crazy. And this one, again, is such a big step. Notion can now write formulas for you. This is a big deal because Notion formulas are incredibly powerful and a great way to get your Notion workspace to the next level. But they also come with a steep learning curve. I have a two and a half hour tutorial where I explain you everything about them. So if you don't have the time to go through something like this, so far you are out of luck. But with this latest update, you can simply tell Notion what it should do, right? what the formula should calculate, and it will do that for you. Doing so is super simple. Here we have my database and uh, it's a test database with a CRM, right? We have birthday, we have interests. So let's start by counting the interests of people, right? Maybe we have different numbers of interests and we want to see, okay, for whom do we have how many uh, things recorded? Now in that case, let's click on plus, right? And let's call this property number of interests and then scroll down to the formula property and click into the cell. And now instead of writing this formula myself, I can just ask it, uh, can you count how many interests a person has based on the interest property? And then hit enter. And Notion is really good at figuring out, okay, what properties do we have in there and how do we need to render this? And the formula that it prints out even has some helpful comments in there, right? Particularly for longer ones to help you, you know, interpret what it is. So let's click on done and we see perfect, right? We have three interests for the first person, one here and two here. Now let's do something a bit more complicated. One notoriously difficult formula challenge that spawned several Reddit threads over the years is how you can calculate the next upcoming birthday for a person. Right? It's a little bit trickier than you think. Um, if you watch my two and a half hour video, uh, you'll learn how to do this from scratch. But you can now also just ask Notion to do it for you. So let's see, right? we have a new formula property. And this time I'm going to ask it, please uh, calculate the next upcoming uh, birthday for a person based on their birthday property and the current time output. Uh, date um, and then yeah let's just send it off and see what happens. Now this will be a bit of a longer formula so you see in a second that it will start printing this out. It also actually quite nicely right um, here at the top tells me that uh, it will return empty if no birthday is set. It also figured out that there was an error in uh, the you know in the printout if I'm not sure whether you noticed because uh, null is actually not a value that you can input in Notion so it corrected itself and figured, okay, it actually needs to add these two uh, empty strings. And then it tells me, you know, okay, let's get the birthday, month and day, then let's do the calculation. And then depending on whether it has passed or not, give me this year or next year, right? These comments are really helpful to sort of understand, uh, even if you can't read the Notion formula, what's happening. So let's click on done and inspect and we see, okay, perfect. It printed it out correctly for this one person. But it didn't so for the others. And we can just like check uh, what might be the issue. Right? We can see, okay, well, it happens if it's 1993. Does it have something to do with the year? No. Is it something, you know, like earlier in the year? Also not, right? The June doesn't come up either. Is it that it needs to be in the future? Hmm. Okay, so somehow uh, it can't handle the things in the past. Well, even if Notion doesn't get it right on the first try, we can now go in here and say, um, actually, this doesn't seem to work or birthdays that are um, in the past uh, this year or uh, in the next month. Can you have a look at the formula and correct it? And again, send it off. Well, as always, right, with AI, you sometimes have to go through this loop of explaining it, uh, what, uh, you know, went wrong if there's no proper error in uh, the system. And then it should hopefully figure it out. So let's click on done. And now we see, all right, amazing. It managed to sort of like now this time calculate birthday in 100 days, 52 days, in 205 days. That's nice. Still not quite what we wanted, right? Um, can you um, turn this into an actual date property in the end because we want to show it in our calendar, right? I mean, the announcement is nice. Maybe we want to duplicate this, but again, asking it to turn it into something else 
and see whether it is now able to solve this. And again, right, this is quite the tough uh, chance. So let's click on done. And now we see, okay, now it uh, worked perfectly. March 15, right? It figured out that the next uh, upcoming birthday for that is in 2026, uh, October, right? That's still in the future. November, that's still in the future. So we get now, after like two attempts, the correct birthday for it. Another great use case for this is extracting certain elements from uh, the rest of your content. Uh, for example, you might want to get the domain uh, from their email. And this is something that you can do with regex, right? Uh, which is a regular expression. And regular expressions are notoriously hard to write uh, if you are not very used to them. So again, uh, in this case, we're going to you know call this domain and we're going to go here, right? Go to formula, click inside and uh, say, please extract the domain from the email address. And we can tell it to use regex, right? Or it can, we can just like, if, if we don't know how it would work, right? We can just tell it in general and it will figure out that this is probably the best way to do it. Actually, in this case, it chooses to split, which is works just as well. So we can click on done. And now we see here are our domains for those emails. I hope you see that we can do really cool stuff with this. But here's another example. Let's say you uh, track your OKRs in Notion and you have a typical system where you have your objectives, you have your key results, and then you might have individual reports, right? Uh, so the owner of the key result weekly or bi-weekly reports, how much are we progressing? In this example, right, we want to achieve 50,000 revenue from a new product line. That's our key result. And you see in my reporting entries, we have three reports from August 8th, 12th, and 20th. Um, together with the current value, right? How much, uh, you know, revenue we've made so far. And this gives me an aggregate success rate here. But let's take this one step further. Wouldn't it be really amazing if we could see whether we are trending up or down with our performance, right? That would be very valuable imp uh, information for the person who has to quickly scan a lot of OKRs and might not remember how this value was last week. So let's build this. We are in our key results database and I'm going to click on plus. Let's call this um, trend rate and then let's go to formula, click in here and ask it again to do this. Please create uh, a formula that uh, calculates whether we are trending up, down or stagnating or this key result. And then since this is a bit complicated, right, I want to give it a bit more instructions on how to do this. Um, to do so, look at the related um, reporting entries and extract the value for the last three. Then um, figure out whether uh, within those three last entries, uh, we're improving, going down, or stagnating. All right, then let's hit enter and see what it comes up with. And again, this is quite a complex challenge because it can't do the calculation just based on properties present on key results. It needs to understand the relation to um, the um, reporting entries and figure out that based on that, right, it needs to do something. Now it ran into an error on the first attempt, which is quite likely to happen with these uh, advanced ones. So it will go in, right, and try it again. Let's see whether it can do it now. So this time we don't get an error. We actually um, see that uh, it figures out, okay, we first get all the reporting entries from reporting that are not empty. So that's great. Um, we're sorting them. That's also great. Then it gets the most uh, recent ones. Perfect and wants to extract the last three values, determine whether higher or lower values is better. This is even something that we didn't tell it, right? In our OKR system, we have, of course, key results that try to shoot towards a target, right? Where we say, okay, we want to have at least, or like we want to have 50,000, right? we want to, like the closer we get to 50, the better. Or where it's like, okay, we want to have less than five cancellations. So everything below it is better. So in this case, right, um, uh, it even understood that from the context of the database without me explaining to it, and then wrote the rest of the logic. So let's just accept this. Uh, I need to <laughs> zoom out a little bit here. 
because I'm in the in the browser, so it's a bit tough. And we see now, okay, um, we have uh, declining values, uh, for example, on the um, uh, reduce customer acquisition cost. And let's just check whether this is correct, right? Customer acquisition. Let's see what we have here in terms of our last reports. Um, we had, um, you know, like on our on 14th, we had 320 and uh, 10, right? So we're actually going down with our success rate, right? We were good, but then our success rate spiked. So that one, it solved correctly. Let's see for stagnating, uh, how that is, right? Generate 150 qualified leads. And we see um, we had 12 in both consecutive ones. So that's absolutely amazing, right? It's crazy that AI can go in and write this complex over formula logic at more or less the first attempt. Now, we might want to go in now, right? And we might want to uh, make this more robust or we might want to um, add some different styling. We can do this ourselves if we understand formulas or we can ask AI again to correct it. But it's insane, right? That we have this tool just a click away. Now, this feature is part of Notion's growing suite of AI tools. It's actually pretty insane, like how many things Notion has released for AI over the recent months, right? If you remember back one year, Notion AI was pretty much a sort of nice party trick. It could do a few fun things, but that was about it. But now it's pretty insane, like how much value you get out of this. So it has actually moved from being a nice to have to the plan that we recommend to clients if they want to move to Notion and make the most of it. And in case you want to try this, right, you can actually get now Notion for free for six months for your company with the link in the description. We just got uh, to be a part of Notion's uh, startup uh, program, which means we can give out these free workspaces. So yeah, just check out the link in the description. You can apply them through this website here, right? There are a few conditions. For example, you can't have be a paying account for Notion yet. But if you qualify, then you can try Notion Business Plus AI for free for six months, which is pretty cool. Otherwise, if you want to learn how to create these formulas for yourself from scratch, well, this masterclass video right that I mentioned, it's actually three and a half hours long, but it doesn't just teach you about Notion formulas, it will also teach you about Notion automations, which is something that AI still can't do yet. So in any case, it's well worth checking this out because it's a complete overview of everything you need to know. And it will also show you a ton of use cases. So if you have access you know, to this new formula builder but don't quite know which formulas to create, well, have a look at this video and check out all the cool things that you can do with formulas. I'll leave a link for that below in the description and you also have it appear over there right beside Thomas Frank, although his Notion formula video is also amazing. So you know, pick and choose or watch both then you have the complete overview over everything there. And yeah, other than that, uh, see you in the next video. Just click there. And yeah, until then.